day, mates. Good day, y'all. <laughs> How you doing? We are going to cook something from the Outback tonight. Do you like Outback Steakhouse? I love Outback I Steakhouse. <laughs> so we're going to try a copycat recipe for their walkabout soup. Have you ever had it? I have not ever had that. It's kind of like an oniony, cheesy soup. I think it sounds fabulous. I think I have. Another it. thing I, I have, have there, sure. there. Who is who? Someone recently did the Al Springs chicken. Uh, I don't. Who, who did, did that? that? I, that's what I always get that. is the Alice Springs chicken. I want to make really the Alice good. Springs chicken. Okay, we'll try. But that today we're time. making walkabout soup. Today we are, and we're going. We've got a hot pot here. A hot pot. We got a hot pot, and we're going <laughs> to add three tablespoons of butter. Here's this one. Here's this one. I told you the pot was hot. When you have a hot pot, <coughs> you gotta put some butter in it. All right. Now Danielle has graciously cut up some <coughs> onions. It calls for two large sweet onions. I didn't have two large sweet onions. I had two <coughs> medium-sized sweet onions. I guess you did say to break them apart. It did, it did not. It just said to cut them in about one quarter inch thick slices. Okay, that's all we're doing. It says slice, but not too thinly. Okay. So we add the onions, and we cook them till they kind of get a little bit of... And you know what I know? It's too sand them. Don't let them brown. Yes. We so don't decrease the heat a little bit. Yeah. And it has the seasoning in it that I have never used. Uh, Tony's Creole. I don't. I don't know about. Should I know about Tony's Creole? Tony I don't know how to say it, but it's Casher's. 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 Tony Casher's. It's kind of a Louisiana Creole okay. spice. Um, a lot of people put it on shrimp. You know, and, and seafood dishes. Some people grill with it. I have never heard of it. Mm -hmm. But it also, the next step is to, after you get your onions in, you're going to add your um, chicken bouillon. But we're using um, this better than bouillon. Mm -hmm. Now, it says to use two cubes of chicken bouillon. So how much would you use here, Mo? I would use a teaspoon. A teaspoon. Or, or maybe a teaspoon. A half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon? Yeah, because this is a lot stronger. Okay. Yeah, so I would probably use. But uh, we're not ready for that yet, are we? Uh, yeah, it says toss in the onions, crumble in the chicken coop, bouillon, and okay. cook them. Well, then we're ready for it. Put them in here. How are we going to get that to look like loose? <laughs> Good question. That is a problem. <laughs> we're going to have to have another spoon or something. Yeah. Okay. I'll rescue you. Then. <laughs> Thank you. You know what? <laughs> I'm thinking we may need a little more of that. I agree. Time. So maybe three of those. Here's a happy one. Are you <coughs> happy? I'm going to get a drink of water. Deb's got the problem I had last time with food. And I was coughing and being stuffed up and all of that. You know, it is the season, y'all. Is that time of year? All right, so I'm just going to swirl this around here. Now, it doesn't want us. And let those onions brown for some reason. So we're not going to let them brown. I'm going to turn this down so you can see what we're doing. It smells good. It does, doesn't it? It smells really good. I smell the onions. So we're just kind of twirling those onions around. Okay, now you're going to uh, sprinkle, sprinkle in. in the tonies. Okay. And it's one fourth teaspoon. It's not very much. Um, this What I'm using is a one eighth, so I'm going to put two. Unless you want more. Uh, I want a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. Oh my. It just smells. <laughs> I love, the, I love the smell of onions and garlic cooking anyway. <laughs> okay, what's next, Jim? Okay, now, after your seasoning goes in, you're sauteing the onions until they turn translucent. And like you most said, don't let them brown. Okay. And then we're going to add in some flour. Three more tablespoons of butter. And more butter. Okay, so here's another tablespoon. We need two more tablespoons. Right. Spoons. Two more tablespoons. Two more tablespoons. There 
Uh -oh. and, then gonna... and then we're going to whisk in the flour, okay. which is right here. And keep whisking until the mixture forms a smooth okay. paste. Okay, this is You ready for the flour? No, I'm not. Okay. Let's let that butter go ahead and get It's melted. four tablespoons of flour. Okay. That we're going to add. Get a whisk type okay. thing. Um, and it probably doesn't matter if it's all purpose or self rising. <clears throat> most of mine, I, most of the time, I use all purpose for unless it calls for otherwise. Okay, that one's self rising. Okay, okay. this is self rising. Oh, we're sprinkle it in. Ooh. And here's Making a little more. Somewhat of a roux. Is that what we're yes, doing? Yes, we are, yes. Is it a kangaroo? Since <laughs> we're doing an outback? Keep whisking the mixture until it forms a smooth paste. I did laugh. I did laugh. That was a great joke. It was a great joke. It was a great joke. Gradually pour in the milk while whisking to avoid any lumps. So we're ready for milk. Once the milk is fully incorporated, add the chicken broth and stir with a spoon. Yes. It says that. Start adding milk. Two cups of milk, or one and a half cups of milk. Okay. I'm making a mess. There goes the rest of the milk. Mr. Huff would be proud. <laughs> Messy Melissa. <clears throat> oh my, that was a long time ago. <laughs> sixth grade teacher named me Messy Melissa. All right. And I still remember it. It was crushing. Okay, the two cups of chicken broth is next. All right. And, and then we're just going to let it cook, cook for a while. When do we do the Velveeta? Um... That would be next, I think, but not until after it cooks. Cooks a bit. Uh huh. Let me get this and I'll tell you. Once the milk is fully incorporated, add the chicken broth and stir the mixture with a spoon. And then. Now, it's, then after it cooks, uh, lower the temperature, start the. <clears throat> then we're going to add some cheddar cheese. Okay. There's your chicken broth. Okay. You, you can stir oven? with a spoon whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's see if I can turn the oven off. The timer anyway, huh? Oh, it's got the onions everywhere. Okay. Now, I'm going to stir it good with a spoon. How's it look, Deb? It looks good. It needs to come out. Okay, right here. Oh. Pot holders. Hey, I mean, can you reach that right there? I'll sit it on it. <clears throat> We're cooking a cake in the oven, y'all. Y'all gonna love this cake. All right. Lower the heat to medium low. We already have it on medium low. <laughs> we didn't even have it on high. Okay. I just turned it up on high so we can get it to boiling good. <coughs> Once the milk is fully incorporated, the chicken broth, we did that. <coughs> Lower the heat to medium low before adding the cheeses. Okay. Start with the first oh, we're we're grated cheddar. cheddar and we need to grate the cheddar cheese. Okay. So we got a couple of steps to do right quick. <clears throat> okay, there's that. Okay. Alright. This is Velveeta cheese and we're just gonna cube it up and it was how much? Eight ounces of Velveeta cheese. Yep, cube. That's how much it is. That cheddar, I think, is just for topping, right? No. And the freshly oh, okay. shredded cheese. You gotta do this one first before okay. you go eat it. All right. Because it's a little bit, takes a little bit more, I think, to yeah, melt it. it does. I love this um, fresh grated cheese. I do too. Always. It's always better. And it's a half, um, let's see how much cheese was that? A cup, yeah. A cup of freshly mm -hmm. grated cheddar cheese. Start with the fresh cheese. All right, here goes the cheese. All right, we're ready. One cup of cheddar cheese going in. Going in. Looking good. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> Stir that up until it becomes a creamy delight. Mmm, <laughs> it's looking good. There you go. Walkabout soup. Outback steakhouse. I can't believe I've never tried Walk this. Walkabout soup. I love the Outback. <coughs> I have a feeling it's because we're always munching down on the <laughs> the blooming, blooming onion. onion. 
I'm sure that's true. We um, always have I a blooming onion. That's true. We cannot go there and not well, have a blooming onion. I wonder if we could make a blooming onion. Yes. We Brianna used try. to make them really? when she was at home. Yeah. We gotta try that. And it tasted just like them. When you get those big old Vidalia onions. Uh -huh. yeah. We need to try that. Well, you... try to, nobody sold me any Vidalia oh, onions this year. Shoot. We need and those. I know. Okay, now it's time to add the star of the show, the which is the Velveeta the cheese. And you're going to continue stirring until the Velveeta cheese is fully melted. So, mm -mm. cubes of Velveeta cheese going in. Um, continue stirring until it's fully melted and it reaches a velvety consistency. It should not be too long. The rich and creamy texture is what makes this soup so irresistible. Season the top with salt and pepper, a plenty of cracked black pepper, and feel free to add more Creole seasoning if you need it. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We just gotta cook it until the cheese is melt. Okay, gosh. Okay, go ahead and add the salt and pepper. Okay. Why? Because you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I can. Add some salt. And it said plenty of cracked black pepper, mm -hmm. didn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, the kitty's crying. I hear it. She wants her daddy to pay attention <laughs> to her. That's that. what it is. Okay, this is done. Okay, um, we're gonna let are we gonna let this cook for a few minutes? I think we are, and then we'll be back to do a taste test in just a minute. Bye. It's nothing better when you have shrimp on the bobby <laughs> than walk about soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was a horrible imitation of an Australian accent. I do love to hear them talk. I do too. Accent. I could just <laughs> listen all day. Y'all, this walk about soup is good and ready. Well, we're about to try it. Looks it. really cheesy. Um, looks really really good. Well, before we try it, I'm, and while she's dipping it out, I'm going to tell you a couple of tips that the recipe says. To make sure that you add those cheeses on medium high heat, not high heat, because medium if you have heat. it on high, it will make the cheesy stri cheese stringy. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to do that. Well, we must have done it right because they did it right. Too. It's creamy. It's not, it's not stringy. Also, if you want a thinner consistency, I think we have a pretty good consistency, but if you want it thinner than this, you can add a little more milk or a little more uh, chicken broth. And we garnish each bowl with some extra cheddar cheese, which is what Moses did. Pepper. And pepper on top. Oh, that looks so pretty too. So let us have a taste Here we go. Doesn't it look pretty? I could eat that all day. I love the taste. Yum. I think the thing I would do different is cut those onions in half because there's gonna be a big old onion in a yeah. bite. So I think that would be the only and thing I would do And I don't I remember do what it's like in their soup. I think they do cut them better. That good? Mm-hmm. That's some good soup, y'all. I would, I would do this again. I like it. Mm-hmm. I will buy it next that time. That would be great. Grilling some steaks on the barbecue <laughs> on the barbie so y'all try the walkabout soup from outback steakhouse only it's going to be out back at your house that's right bye, bye.